Were Jesus Christ, his mom the Virgin Mary, and his kin dark or white? This has been a long-discussed question. Europe has consistently attempted to portray Jesus as a fair white man with blue eyes, long light hair, and tall level. This was additionally reinforced by canvases from the 1500 years, where Jesus showed up similar as a commonplace European man. However, does this demonstrate Jesus was white? Indeed, not really. The new 14th and 15th century artworks uncovered by Russia demonstrate that Jesus was not white, yet dark. He, his mom, and individuals around him were all dark. That is a historic disclosure addressing why Europe portrayed Jesus as white, as of not long ago. All in all, what have we tracked down in the exceptionally old Russian basements and vaults? What individuals have been displayed in the canvases found in these vaults that totally change scriptural lessons? We should be aware of that in this video. As of late, news surfaced that Russian President Vladimir Putin has requested the migration of one of Russia's most sacrosanct symbols from a gallery to a Moscow church building. For quite a long time, these works of art remained secured in vaults, yet presently the world gets the opportunity to notice them. This on a very basic level changes how we might interpret Jesus, his mom, and his pupils. These works of art are known as the Russian symbols, which are assortments of many compositions portraying Jesus' period and his life. In Russian symbols, Father Vladimir Ivanov investigates Russian iconography top to bottom, offering experiences into the set of experiences, imagery, and other worldly meaning of these sacrosanct craftsmanships. Created by a recognized master in the field, Father Ivanov gives perusers an exhaustive outline of Russian iconography, covering different perspectives. Be that as it may, regardless of whether the craftsmanship shows different occurrences, they have one comparability. They show Jesus, his mom, individuals, and even holy messengers as dark. Father Ivanov talks about the creative strategies utilized in Russian symbol painting, including the utilization of egg gum-based paint, gold leaf, and customary iconographic techniques like hieratic piece and adapted structures. Looking at the job of symbols in conventional reflection works on, remembering love parades and their utilization for private and public love, the book enlightens the significant effect of symbols on adherence. Profound lives. A portion of the compositions even portray the pre-Jesus time. For instance, Andrei Rublev's Trinity represents the scriptural story of three holy messengers visiting the patriarch Abraham at the Oak of Mamre, as depicted in the Book of Beginning. In Sid Christian Conviction, this occasion addresses the Blessed Trinity, Father, Child, and Essence of God, uncovering themselves to Abraham as three visitors. Notwithstanding, there is a stunning thing in this canvas. The tone of every one of those present in the composition is dim and dark. A well-known painting, Hero in a Brilliant Riza, commonly includes a symbol depicting Jesus Christ enhanced with a brilliant Riza. In conventional Christian practice, a Riza is a metal covering or edge that decorates a symbol, frequently produced using gold or silver. The essential focal point of the composition is Jesus Christ, portrayed in the conventional universal iconography. He is usually portrayed with a corona around his head, representing his heavenly nature. Curiously, Jesus is portrayed in a dim brown or dark composition. The brilliant Riza encompassing the symbol of Jesus is complicatedly planned, including elaborate examples, etchings, and once in a while gemstones. It implies the respect and worth ascribed to Christ's picture in customary love. Then, at that point, comes the artistic creation, Theotokos, of Vladimir, which is profoundly worshipped inside the customary Christian practice. It portrays the Virgin Mary, otherwise called the Theotokos, supporting the baby Jesus in her arms. The term Theotokos means God-carrier, or Mother of God, featuring Mary's job as the Mother of Jesus, who is accepted to have both human and heavenly nature. Curiously, both Jesus and his mom seem non-white, with their composition inclining toward dark tone. Mary has a quiet articulation in the canvas, softly holding Jesus, supporting his body with one hand, while tenderly stroking his cheek with the other. Jesus is depicted as a small kid, frequently broadening his right hand in a token of gift. Among the Russian symbols found in the vaults is the Annunciation, a painting that totally rethinks holy messengers' appearances. This painting depicts the Annunciation, a critical occasion in the Christian practice where the lead celestial host Gabriel illuminates the Virgin Mary, 
that she will consider and bring forth Jesus. Both Gabriel and the Virgin Mary are portrayed as dark. Not the slightest bit do they have a fair tone, blue eyes, and light hair. Another popular composition is Eleusa, and that implies delicacy or empathy in Greek. In strict workmanship, it addresses a particular portrayal of the Virin Mary supporting the newborn chilled Jesus in a nearby hug, with their cheeks contacting. This depicting feature is the close connection among mother and kid, representing Mary's job as a sympathetic middle person and defender of humankind. In this canvas, we see a similar example, and both Jesus and his mom seem hazier. In the assortment is a painting named Our Woman of Saint Theodore, which shows the Virgin Mary holding the baby Jesus, frequently depicted as a small kid with her right hand brought up in a token of gift. The Virgin Mary is connected with the insurance of Constantinople and is respected as a watchman and patroness of the Byzantine realm. Once more, we consider both Jesus and his mom to be dark, not white. This could make individuals believe that maybe just Jesus and his mom were dark. Indeed, the truth of the matter is, as per these canvases, individuals among whom Jesus and his mom lived were additionally dark. The renowned canvas named Jesus with John the Baptist and the Virgin in the assortment shows the intercession of John the Baptist and the Virgin Mary. In this canvas, John the Baptist and the Virgin Mary are portrayed in a influential place and judgment close by Christ, known as Christ the Adjudicator or Christ Pantocrator. John the Baptist and the Virgin Mary are displayed with lifted hands in supplication, interesting to Christ for mankind. One more work of art, from the assortment named Christ Pantocrator, presents Christ as the Pantocrator, meaning all-powerful and all-strong. Jesus' composition is dull and dark, while he is portrayed as the ruler and judge of the universe, with his right hand lifted in gift and his left hand holding a gospel book, representing his job as the expression of God. This depiction accentuates Christ's sway, authority, and heavenly grandness. In the wake of seeing these artworks, the previous questions about Jesus' legacy and coloring become substantial worries. Jesus' dark legacy holds verifiable importance, arranging him in a particular overall setting, similar as his supporters. For quite a long time, the overall portrayal of Jesus Christ, especially in Western societies, has been as a lighter-looking man with long, wavy light brown or light hair, frequently depicted with blue eyes. In any case, the holy book doesn't actually depict Jesus, and proof proposes he probably appeared to be very unique from this conventional depiction. Scriptural stories demonstrate Jesus was a Jewish man brought into the world in Bethlehem and brought up in Nazareth, Galilee, during the principal century. While the holy book specifies Jesus starting his service around the age of 30, it offers little insight concerning his actual traits, but to recommend that he didn't have surprising magnificence or stand apart genuinely, as Isaiah 53.2 infers. Another notice is in Disclosure 11 Cheat 415, where John has a dream of Jesus. It portrays his hair as white like fleece, his eyes as red hot, his feet as gleaming bronze, and his voice as strong like hurrying waters. Despite the fact that the portrayal isn't unequivocal, it plainly inclines toward dark highlights and actual characteristics. However, for what reason does Russia stand separated in portraying Jesus and his kin as dark in strict craftsmanships? All things considered, the response lies in the way that Russia got detached from the Byzantine church while the whitewashing of strict artistic creations began. This was because of the Mongol intrusion and control of Russia, known as the Brilliant Swarm, which significantly impacted the locale's binds with the Byzantine realm and the more extensive Christian world. Starting in the mid-13th 100 years, the Mongols sent off a progression of military missions that brought about the foundation of the Mongol realm one of history's biggest constant land domains. This development carried them into contact with different human advancements, including Russia. Up to that point, Russia had been in touch with the Byzantine domain, fundamentally embracing its strict convictions. However, in 1237, the Mongols sent off an overwhelming attack of the Russian territories, which were divided and unfit to mount a brought-together safeguard. The attack finished in the clash of the Sit stream in 1238, where the Mongols arose triumphant. In this way, they dealt with the locale, laying out the brilliant crowd as a vassal state and forcing recognition on Russian rulers. 
the Mongol occupation essentially reshaped Russia's associations with the Byzantine domain, what's more, the more extensive Christian world. Before the attack, Russia had close binds with Byzantium, especially in strict issues, as the Eastern Slavic people groups had embraced Byzantine Christianity. The Russian Standard Church respected Constantinople, the Byzantine capital, as its otherworldly focus. Nonetheless, the Mongol attack disturbed these ties, with quite a bit of Russia under Mongol control. Correspondence and shipping lanes endured, cutting off contact with Byzantium. Furthermore, the intrusion stressed the Russian Standard Church as the Mongols forced their managerial designs, at times conflicting with the congregation's power. It's accepted that before the attack, both Russia and the Byzantine realm had comparable craftsmanships. Be that as it may, after the attack, the whitewashing of strict works of art started in Europe. Not at all like in Russia, which stayed under Mongol rule for an additional 250 years. Thusly, Russia remains solitary and protect, protecting strict fine arts where Jesus and his kin are portrayed as dark. Back while the remainder of Europe whitewashed such craftsmanships, the strict works of art in Russia offer unquestionable proof that as of not long ago, Jesus, his mom and his kin were depicted mistakenly, covering Jesus' tone, modified the account, introducing him exclusively as the friend in need of white individuals, which didn't line up with the full story. Notwithstanding, recognizing Jesus as dark gives intelligence. Taking into account the equals between the experiencing persevered by individuals of color and that of Jesus. What is your take? Was Jesus dark or white, considering that he was from Israel, a locale where individuals of color resided? Also, assessment on why Europe had a go at showing Jesus, his mom, and his kin as white? In the remark area right underneath, share your contemplations on whether all Jesus artworks ought to be changed and whether Jesus ought to be portrayed in genuine composition dark. Would you like to observe more recordings like this one? In the event that indeed, buy into our feed and press the ringer symbol close to it. We have chosen to welcome recordings on something no one discussions about. African governmental issues, economy, and expanding power. Gratitude for watching, and until the following video, remain tuned.